are driving around the city of Vanatur because uh, we know up here somewhere is an IT center of some kind that is supposed to have an interesting model of developing the new generation of IT young minds in Armenia. And so we're kind of looking for where that can be up here in order to go and figure out exactly, again, as always, how, why, who, how much, when, all those interesting questions that come up when straight goes to the village. So, Vanatsor today, and I have to watch out for those potholes, but I'm hoping to see some really interesting IT stuff at the other end of this day. Come on along with me. I'm in a place I never knew existed. This is the Vanazor Technology Center on the outskirts of Vanazor. Now I've been to Vanazor many a time, but I never knew this existed. So we've come here today to have a chat with both people who are running the place as well as some teachers and students that are working here this summer. So Patvakam, you yes. are the... I am the business development manager of Vanazos Technology Center. Business development, development manager. manager. Okay. Can we start at the very beginning? Sure. How did this happen? So the idea was to have a technology center in Vanazor, so to spread high tech and IT development of Armenia or uh, out, out of Yerevan, okay. namely in Gumri and Vanazor. And the decision was made by government in 2014 and uh, Enterprise Incubator Foundation was chief operator of the Vanatos Technology Center. We have the most modern equipment that exists in Armenia, mainly for engineering labs. Engineering labs, labs. and we'll see a little bit of that later, of I think. Yeah, okay. And then how many students? So actually this uh, center is not a teaching center, this is a oh. technology center. So teaching, e teaching and trainings are only a part of work what we do here. Okay. So the idea is that we prepare specialists, programmers, engineers for the companies that will locate it here. And I can say that for last years we had about maybe 1,200 uh, students. This is for specialists. We had about 2,500 uh, school children that passed through our uh, classes. And we are very effective. Uh -huh. And where, where do the students go when they're done here? In the uh, companies. And they're, they're directly hired right yes, out of this? Yes, yes. And how maybe, maybe they go some internship with the companies uh -huh. and then they go to companies to work. So it sounds like fast track preparing these young adults for yes, working for in technical fields. Yes. yes. Um, so by this model, we try to expand it out of Yerevan. Yes. I hear you have volunteers. Yes. From both Armenia and from outside. Yes. Can we go inside and say hello? Sure. Great. Welcome. Let's go. Okay. This is Armen. He's from San Francisco. Hey. He's nice invited to you. by uh, Luis. Foundation, and, Luis and, he will, right. and he will be volunteer in our technology center for the next month. Great. Do you mind if we have a chat with him and maybe with his students? No. Great. Welcome. Uh, okay, let's do that. Great. Wow. What brings you to the Vanatsur Technology Center? So I'm a Luis scholar uh, at MIT. So basically, part of our summer commitment is essentially coming back to Armenia and engaging in basically projects that are designed to basically in some sort of a manner basically you know advance you know Armenia, develop Armenia. The program is called Develop Armenia Together basically. Okay. And what is the topic of this particular class? This class is called Orbital Mechanics. Orbital 
mechanics. I have no idea what that is. What is that? Or orbital mechanics is pretty much the study of how basically satellites interact with other basically uh, planets. So we study how satellites and planets essentially orbit each other, how gravity affects their orbits, how energy affects their orbits. Why would you A, want to come to the Von Ensor Technology Center and B, why would you want to study orbital mechanics? Von Ensor Tank, there are more. Von Ensor Technology Center, no more. Von MIT Global Laboratory and S. Von Ensor Mesh, Simon Petkesh, Vasnak Seldrian, Arjo Masnak Senist. In China, it's orbital and mechanical. For of the your dream is what? To work in your field? In Valencia, in Yerevan, somewhere else? Where do you want to work? I'm sure you're going to be in the same place. I'm sure you're going to be in the same place. I'm sure you're going to be in the same place. I'm sure you're going to be in the same place. Armin and Vahe, Vahe has just joined us. Both of you are loose scholars. You're studying at MIT? Correct. Right? And Vahe, where are you studying? I'm studying at UC Berkeley. What are you studying at UC Berkeley? I'm studying chemical engineering. Chemical engineering. Okay. Correct. But you're from the U.S. That's correct. And you're from Vanuatu. I'm from Yerevan. You're from Yerevan. Yeah. But you're here in in Vanuatu. Yeah. To okay. teach courses. Yes. I've been here 17 years, and we talk a lot, especially earlier, about critical mass, about having enough people, having enough professionalism, having enough experience, being invested in this country, to to turn the corner. To, to start on an upward swing instead of the downwards swing of the difficult years after independence. Do you feel Armenia has turned the corner? Hard to tell exactly when Armenia has turned the corner, but I think we're definitely getting there. It's, there are, every time I come, I see these things, you know, one more company that's, you know, basically doing something different. Slow, as like a slow emerging middle class that's coming about. And as I see that, I think, you know, if we make, like, add some more middle class jobs, basically, increase, try to increase the standard of living. If, if we can do that, I think Armenia is in totally good shape. That's a perspective from the outside. Correct. What's your perspective from the inside? So, actually, it's the same, I guess, because, like, I'm not here throughout the year. I come here, like, only uh, for summers and winters. And what I see here, like, see a lot of new jobs that are created and a lot of new companies that invest in other companies. As we can see, the Vanadar Technology Center was created about a year ago and it has become a, like the, the real center of Vanadar City. So I guess we are really on the way of creating the Armenia we really want to see. This generation that you just saw really cares about this place and they really, th this is their home. This is where they grew up. So, if nothing else, they want to be able to make a comfortable living at home, which is basically just a very reasonable thing to, de to desire. So, whatever we can do to facilitate that, I think, is, you know, in the best interest of the entire Armenian nation, period. Okay. What's missing? Honestly, I'd like to mention, like, the trust, trust into our brighter future. That's what, what we miss right now, because the education here is good. Yeah, there are a lot of centers that can provide high-level education. There are a lot of professionals here from Armenia, from U.S., from other countries that come here to develop the educational system here. A lot of jobs are created like on a daily basis. But one thing like Armenians lack, I think that's, that's the... They're just hoping for a brighter future. But Trust in the future. Yeah. Yeah, that is... Yes. Uh, yeah. hmm. The trust and the belief that tomorrow will be better than today and next month will be better than this month, that is something that is constantly repeated. Well, that was just incredible. In the middle of Vonnetzor, which hasn't seen a lot of progress, 
in my 17 years here, well, that's exactly what we saw today. It was a heck of a lot of pro a progress because of the Government World Bank project opening this amazing space for an amazing bunch of kids with an amazing group of people from the U.S. and other places. It, just, it was just an incredible experience to see uh, an incredible light of hope for the future in Vanatsor today. So, still some work to do on the asphalt here, but anyway, that IT center was something incredible. Join me again next time on Kime Kinume Kyo. Okay, now I can focus on the driving. Maybe. Uh oh, pothole, pothole, pothole. Oh, boom.